name's Aaron. I'm going to be reading from the Bible, uh, Matthew chapter 13. On the same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the sea, and great multitudes were gathered together to him, so that he got into a boat and sat and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Then he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went out to sow, and he had sowed. Some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some fell on stony places where they did not have much earth, and they immediately sprang up because they had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell on good ground and yielded a crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? He answered and said to them, Because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it has not been given. So the symbolic language of um, parables is the language of the kingdom of heaven. And just pretty much what I just read is a parable about the falling away. For whoever has to him more will be given and he will have abundance. But whoever does not have even what he has will be taken away from him. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. And in, the, and in them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, Hearing you will hear, and shall not understand. Seeing you will see and not perceive, for the hearts of the people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn, so that I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For assuredly I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see. You did not see it, and to hear it, what you hear, and did not hear it. Therefore hear the parable of the sower. Therefore hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches away what was sown in the heart. This is he who received seed by the wayside, but he, ha he who received the seed on stony places. This is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures only for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. Now he who receives seed among the thorns is he who hears the word the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the world word. Uh, it 
deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becomes unfruitful. But he who receives seed on the ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and produces some of hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. the falling away the tribulations and the conclusion is to be open to uh, those seeds that are being sown to learn from them fertile soil <clears throat>